Hello. Hi. Welcome to a new vlog series. Yeah. We are on a little week's break yeah. at Hoburn in Bashley, mm -hmm. which is New Forest, yeah. basically. Just outside of New Milton. Yeah, not far from Bournemouth, pretty yeah. much. Um, if you're new to the channel, then I'm Ryan. And I am Joe. Um, so if you want to see more content that we get up to, make sure you've subscribed and obviously give this video a thumbs up. Um, but we have literally arrived. We drove down from Bristol. We got here. It only took a few hours. Uh, two, about two and, about two and a half two hours. Two and a half hours, which weren't too bad. Yeah. Um, literally, the weather has been amazing. We've managed to kind of unpack. We did a Tesco click and collect. So we've done it all. We've done it all. We are here. Yeah. Um, we do have to give a shout out to our friend Gary. You know who you are. Um, thank you so much for sorting this for us. Yeah. Um, it is absolutely amazing. Yeah. So honestly, thank you so much. So as well as it being a nice caravan, yeah, we do have some other guests with us. You may have just heard them walking around. And they're going there. They're walking around. So I will. Oh, oh, there's one of them I can see. I will turn the camera around so you can see them. Here they are. Hey, girls. Again, if you're new, this is Daphne. She is two. She's two. She's a all black pug. And then we have <laughs> little Peg. She's got the water dripping. She's, got, she's just had a drink. She's one. Oh. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. You're very excited. Hello. Oh, hi. She's jumping up with me. Um, she's very panty. They've been running around. They're super excited. Hi. <laughs> she gives you kisses. She loves okay. kisses. She loves kisses. She's a very licky pug. Um, this is Peggy, by the way. Yeah. Hi. They've literally just been doing zoomies around, round, round, and round and round and round. And round. Um, they are very excited. Um, if you watched our vlog series from Little C, um, couple of weeks couple of months ago um you would have seen what they were like then um, they're not they are crazy 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 pugs so with that said let's get into a a tour of the caravan so i'm literally at the side door which is pr where you come in um i'm going to head straight into the kind of the lounge kitchen area um and our reaction when we walked into it was like wow. oh my god like there's caravans and then there's caravans and we think this is amazing. Um, so at Hober and Bashley, they do different type styles of caravans. This is the premium style, um, a three bed dog friendly caravan here at Bashley, Hober and Bashley. So let's go into the lounge kitchen. So as you walk through, this is it. Like, wow. It's crazy. It's it's like a house. It is pretty much like a house. Like it's just, it's, what? Well, yeah. I I don't really know what to say. I was quite surprised at how nice and how homely it it felt. And this is something I clocked straight away. Is you kind of have like your built-in oven, grill, microwave. Like that is very much like a home kitchen. So yeah, it's very very spacious. Very spacious. So as you come in, you've got your sink looking out to the window. Nice little blinds. That is so cool. Nice little side shelf. You got this here. You can see we've put the uh, dog food and treats, which they're now most probably going. What? What? What did he say? What did he say? They are standing here. They are. So you have glassware. You have a drawer for storage. This is a kind of almost like a junk drawer. <laughs> We've put we bits and bobs. Already, we we have. We've I literally mean, unpacked. Um, dining table. Now, this is usually the, was the other way around. But just so we kind of had a little bit more space for the dogs, we did turn it sideways. But it was this side, if you can yeah. imagine, with a chair here and here and there and there. We just switched it around. Because there's only going to be two of us sat here. It just made more sense. Um, gives you a little bit more room in the kitchen. Gives you a little bit more room. So, yeah. And then you've got your kitchen, which I just think is so spacious. Um, so you've got your gas hob, very, very nice gas hob. It's not like just your individual kind of cooker. It is like built in gas hob. You've got your toaster, kettle, mugs, little egg cups, cute little egg cups. We had them before. Didn't we? we did, we had them I last time. 
I didn't. I wasn't sure what they were for. Are these egg cups? But they they actually are egg cups. Um, you have like a little pantry area, which you can see we've put some bits in. Don't judge. But I mean, yeah. I'm quite surprised you didn't comment on the uh, seven packs of. No. Yes, seven packs of biscuits on the shelves. <laughs> the biscuits? That's the biscuit shelf. Maryland cookies. Oh, Ryan's cookies. Joe's biscuits. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, so again, plenty of storage. Do you do you wanna do you wanna get out the way, Peg? No. Can I can I close the door? No. Can I close the door? I'll cut your tail off. Tail off. There we go. Thank you very much. So yeah, so you've got microwave. Look at that. That is cool. Your grill and your oven. It's a really really good size. Like you know, you actually could cook proper meals in here. This was all here. This was great. We did bring like. Um, tea towels and, and stuff but that was all there you have a fridge which again we've filled lots of coke as you can tell we like lots we of cider we're from the southwest so you know cider cider we got a squash we do kind of healthy semi skimmed milk try to be healthy you know um ignore the chocolate eclairs because they're not they're, they're not healthy, they're not healthy. <laughs> um but yet yeah, you have a fridge mine girls mine fridge freezer so again if you want to kind of cook and keep things in the freezer, you can. Um, we did, because there is literally a Tesco 10 minutes from here, and an Aldi pretty much next door. And a Morrison's as well. And a Morrison's. There's loads around here. So what we did, instead of kind of getting shopping and food and bringing it down with us, we literally did a click and collect. So we'd pre-kind of ordered what we wanted, and we just then went and collected it. Simples. Simples. Um, so, yeah, I that's a top tip if you're staying anywhere. Have a little look around. Is there like a big supermarket somewhere that you can maybe do a click and collect? Also, in the kitchen, Ooh. we didn't expect these either. No. You washing machine. Washing machine. Um, now, I didn't plan on using that. I'm no, just going to say. Doing washing, but if you ever did want to do washing. If you've got kids and you need to wash yes. things because you're getting through clothes a lot with kids and stuff, great washing machine. Yeah. And if you don't want to do any washing up. What was in this one? That was just a oh, it's all like your saucepans, pots, pots and pans. So you've got all those bits, all your utensils, you know, all in here. You don't have to be bringing any of this, which is great. Dishwasher. Now this, this is the best, best thing. Like, ever. Crazy. Because I don't like washing up. You don't like washing up. I do it because. Yeah, like if you if needs must. But the fact that there's a dishwasher, oh my god, that is amazing. Just makes this holiday even more chill. Oh, I know. It's gonna be so nice. Um. So yeah. So that's your 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 kitchen basically. Very very nice very very swanky um so from your kitchen you literally are pretty much in your lounge anyway so you if you saw our vlog from little c you would have seen the kind of seating was like a kind of corner built in sofa but this is like two actual sofas it's a sofa bed so you, again wow. more more oh. more sleeping storage a oh hello she's just having a sniff thank you so and they are very very comfy, comfy. You've got the scatterback cushions, you know, very very nice. You have this, which looks like a nice little tooth, but it's also storage. It makes a great storage space. Lego. Lego. <laughs> Joe's brought Lego with him. Obviously, this is my chill time. <sighs> I thought brought a little bit of a uh, Harry Potter, you know, Hogwarts and stuff like that, and I bought the little Disney castle. Yes. Yes. So, it just gives me something to do on an evening. When Ryan's watching Love Island, I can sit there and build Lego. But I'm, uh, that works for me. <laughs> um, you've got a nice little kind of electric fire. This is quite cute as well, really sets the fireplace off. I think in the winter that would be lovely. That will. Be... Hi, mirror. Hi. You know. um, we did bring our Dyson fan with us, just because we both suffer from the fun that is hay fever. Um, and it's really good at kind of purifying, purifying the airing collecting the pollen um so if you have a out outbreak sitting in front of that 
helps get rid of the hay fever. So, you know, that was a good thing. I'm glad we brought that because it is the peak of hay fever season at the moment. Again, your TV. We did bring our Apple TV, which meant that we were able to plug it in because there are HDMI outlets. So we've been able to do that. So that is your lounge and kitchen area. It's decent. It is so spacious. I mean, look at the lights. These are your lounge lights, like candles. You have got spotlights in the kitchen. No, down lights. No. Oh, down, lights. Mean, down, lights. down lights. Down lights. They might move, I don't know. Down lights. I don't want to and then them. above your, your kind of dining area, you have these kind of down lights they are pointing down i don't know yeah, someone lighting. will correct me in the comments yeah if, you, if you're a lighting expert let us know yeah they are, we have spotlights down lights who knows so yeah so now i'm going to take you to the kind of the back end of the caravan and show you the bedrooms the bathrooms so you get to see it all so you go past kind of where we started at the entrance okay got a little storage cover boiler ironing board you do have an iron comes with all that and then in here is one of your bedrooms so it's a good size twin room very very nice very very cozy another little mirror hi storage so again plenty of room for storage and obviously a pug so that's one of the twin rooms you then have your second twin room which i think is a little bit bigger i think is a little bit wider and again i've actually used this wardrobe for my bits and bobs Got another mirror more sockets which is really really cool and then across you have your bathroom and shower so you have full shower size shower toilet sink towels we have already done towel tests towels are all good towels are there towel, nice toucher. towel toucher obviously you've got all your bits to put all your amenities very very nice blinds so if you want some privacy in the bathroom you can pull the blinds down somewhere to hang your towels Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. And then you come into kind of the master bedroom. So straight away, as you kind of walk in, you've got a little side area with your wardrobe. And obviously if you, your makeup, you want to get ready here, all that's there, plug sockets. There are loads of plug sockets. Now we have yeah, utilized this space. For, I've never seen so many plug sockets. There's loads of plug sockets, but, but we've utilised this space for the dog's bed. So Yeah, I mean, none of us really need it. Neither of us need a dog's table, do we? No. So we've actually brought their main bed with them because they do prefer this rather than their tiny little beds that we had at Little C. So, it's so This it, is new as well. If anybody wants to know where they got this from, Costco. Costco, yeah. And I think it was like six quid or something yeah. like that. Yeah, I think it's quite cute. And it's so soft. So soft. But yeah, so, and then here you have. This is our blanket that we've thrown over just because we throw it over the beds because the dogs like to jump on it and if we can avoid getting hair, then we will. Because they're very hairy. Very hairy dogs. Sort of mine, but... <laughs> but no, you've got sockets either side and USB sockets. Not just normal sockets, USB ports. Those are amazing. You don't really get that. I wasn't expecting that in a caravan. See what I mean? Oh, hi, Peg. Are you uh, making yourself at home? How about you, Daph? Oh, hi. 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 You okay? You happy? Beds, the they pet. do. They are. If, if, you have, if you've got a pug or you know of pugs, they are very cuddly. They love beds. Human contact. Human contact. Now, while you're in bed, you actually have a TV. So we didn't have that a uh, little C, but we've got that here, which is amazing because I do like watching TV. What did we do last time? Just went to bed. I didn't know. I put my phone on, didn't I? We were, just we were watching it off like... your phone, yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. Crazy. And then, as well as that, you have an ensuite toilet. 
which it's just the toilet toilet and sink yeah yeah basin but so still, that's... you know and again more storage mirror hi which is great you know if there's a big family of you you know because this is what sleeps eight, eight people Everything. so yeah two bathrooms is is brilliant but it's a really good site but i mean look plenty of walkway what do you think peg love it daft what, what do you think do you like the caravan mm -hmm. I yeah you 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 happy yeah you you both look confused to hell oh, but he's staring at me but no, it is lovely, really, really good. And in the winter, if you were here in the winter, I mean, it's it is it is one of the hottest day of the year today. Yeah. But there is central heat in th throughout, so it's not going to be a cold caravan. But then there is one more bit that we've got to show you, which I think is maybe the dog's favourite bit, and that is these lovely patio doors that lead out to a very own decked area we have moved these seats around a little bit we have You've got patio set four chairs umbrella it's very very cozy hey, it does go right around the side, doesn't it? it does so you literally so the dogs have been out here already um and i think in the morning you'll get the sun because yeah. the sun's kind of setting that way but yeah it looks very very nice, it's cute. nice. and the advantage is you can walk all the way around so, obviously, a company. And then, this is your door. Oh, hello. Hi. Now, hey, pugs. What is good is you've got a gate here as well, so you can shut the gate up. Dogs can't get out, which is really, really good. Um, but we've left it open, not so the dogs can escape, but we've brought their crate that we had at Little Sea, just so they can come out use the grass because they do like to have a little wee wees on the grass and eat grass and it just gives them that little bit of freedom so yeah so there you have it they, they, that is it that is a caravan 31a Oberon Bashley lovely cannot complain come on then girlies you going in yeah I follow you there you go so there you have it joe's running around trying to get the drug dog to um to chase him come on come on i mean look at this weird thing again, where she stands up if you run she'll follow you see <laughs> what did she get did she jump on that she jumped now? on that and then off yeah now like, she's getting her toys out. Getting her toys out. Whereas this one is just... She's a bit more of a chill. She's my shadow, this one. Aren't you, Daph? Yeah, you get the chill one, I get the nut job. Do you think that kind of says... Probably. Yeah. Hey! Hope so. Crazy pug! Come on in. What's your toy? Oh. Oh, which... She's she is crazy she is absolutely crazy so yeah that's that's the caravan absolutely amazing and we're here for a whole week um so there's going to be a few vlogs that we're going to be doing just from us kind of having a chill time here in hoburn um for the week a few things that we'll get up to there are a few nice little sites that we want to kind of go around um take the dogs for some nice walks as we were kind of driving through the new forest there was loads of wild horses, wild horses. which i'm quite keen to let the dogs see a horse because when they see a horse on the tv they go mental so hopefully seeing one in real life might calm them down a little bit scared them to death yeah so so there you have it that's the, that's the caravan um we're gonna be doing something to eat in a bit and then chilling out and watching some tv so keep watching so we're just gonna take the doggies for a little walk have a little wander around the site give them a little walk to tire them out and then come back and do some tea 
Joe's walking the dogs. Come on. Come on, Grizzlies. <clears throat> Come on. Go for a walk. All locked. Well, I think it's his key. No, it's not like it. The dogs are loving life. Yep. Sniff, sniff, it's nice sniff. Cool night it is nice and cool. Should never walk a dog during the day, especially when it's sunny. Nope. That's the leaf, Peg. Oh, oh Daft's having a wee. Oh, Can you let uh, your sister have a wee? Yeah. Good girl. Come on then. There we go. Daft has a tendency to sniff everything. Literally everything. Everything is concerned with it. 50-50 chance. It could be yeah. It's very nice, very scenic. Yeah. Little shop, Hobo and shop. Laundrette. Not that we need a laundrette because we've got a washing machine. So that's Sycamore. Chestnut Beach. Ah. So trying to think where oh yeah this is where we parked yeah so that's reception in the clubhouse yeah ah okay you could just have come up here and then sit down yeah so, I wonder yeah. what they sell in the Bashley shop have more dogs pooches. little pooches <laughs> little pooches get your car park in there are loads of these actually you are right I've seen loads oh. already which is good Look at these two. They do love exploring. Yeah, they do prefer the grass. They're nice. Um, it's like they all have got decking, like a balcony area. Not necessarily patio doors onto them, but so you've got your golf. If you like your golf, kids' play area, tennis, basketball, venture playground. We're on the stones, the dogs don't like this as much. Yeah. Yeah. Those yeah. of activities to do. Kind of the clubhouse bit just there as well, the back of it. So we found a little pet exercise area. This is cool. <laughs> Agility, no, come but on, we can let you off the lead. You can have a good run. Come on. Come on, this way. Come on. Good girls. Shut the gate so the doggies can't get out. Come on. Oh, the Look at all what you can do. Can yeah. <laughs> Off they, they go. go. What's that? Oh, I thought she was going to run for it. I thought she was going to run for it. What is it? Hey. Oh, hi. Peggy's chasing Dad. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Hi. Come on, Peg. Peg. Come on. Good girl. She's like, no, I'll go round it. You gotta go through the tire, come girls. Come on. No, I know how to come round. Come on. Come on, good girl. Come on. Come on. Peg, come on then. No, go through it. Stop. Come on then. Come on then. No. <laughs> no, I go round. <laughs> <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on, Pepper. Good girl, come on in. Come on, good girl. I think it's fair Come to say on. we're never entering them into any competitions for agility. Come on. Come Go on. on. Go on, boys. Good girl. Come on. Go on. Go Go on. on. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> All right, Daph, maybe you. <laughs> <laughs> there is hope. Come on. Take. Good girl. Go on in. Go on. No. Yeah, you Good Daph. girl, Daph. Yeah. Hey. Daph knows what to Daph do. Daph is top. Yeah. 
She's the clever one. <laughs> She's the clever Stupid one. Stupid over there. Come on. Good girl. Yeah. Good girl. Good girl. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we got there. We finally Good got there. Good girl. Do you want to do this seesaw bench thing? Not really. You probably must. Come on. Come Go on. on. Come on. Good girl. <laughs> You're trying to kill your sister? Crush Peggy to death, was we're doing it. Right, come on, Da, let's try again. Da, Da, come on, come on, good girl, come on, good girl, good girl. As soon as it moves, girl. she's like, no, I jump. Come on, good girl, good girl. <laughs> she like shits herself. <laughs> she's like, no. <laughs> Oh, That's good really girls. Good girls. Good, good girls. girls. They love it. They, they love, it. love it. That was funny. This is nice. They love that. That was fun. That was funny. That was 100% the end. Yeah. But we're now heading back to the caravan. Nice little pathway. That's like this little football pitch. That's where the agility part was. This is cool. All it up. Nice little walk. They want to go and play with the ball. <laughs> no. We walk along the path, girls. Good girls. That is really... I, I love it. <laughs> yeah, I love it. I'm going to have the best week ever. <laughs> so we're up here. Well, this is Rowan. The next one is Aspen. We're literally just up this path, up this road. So yeah, clubhouse. The agility football ground and our caravan well, is literally the the back as well. our golf course, sorry. Golf course. We're literally up here. Yeah. Good girls. Definitely cooling down now as well. Yeah, it's quite nice. So we've been back from the dog walk for a little while. About an hour. About an hour. We had something for tea for dinner. Um, nice little Caesar salad. Little Caesar salad. Joe was led out on the sofa. Yeah, we sorry, watched um, watched Love Island. Drama. Um, but yeah, the dogs are one hundred percent chill. <laughs> this is Daphne. Hi, Bubbas. Peggy was just asleep in between my legs. <laughs> There's the little peg. Yeah, so got up Hi. Oh, hello. Hi. Hi. Are you giving sniffs? Oh, you just licked the camera. <laughs> you just licked the camera. You're very licky, aren't you? You're the licky one. Whereas you're more sniffs. You're a sniffer. you the sniffer. Ain't you? Sniffer and a licker. Yeah. You're a little licker. you a little licker. Yeah. Bless. So yeah, so I'm just glad to be in and be unpacked and settled. Dogs settled. Cool. Dogs cool. They've settled quite well actually, compared to before. They were a little bit more on edge, whereas mm. I think it feels more homely. The caravan itself, yeah, isn't it? It's like it a lot more, like a, a lot yeah, a lot more homely feel to it. So they are quite happy, I think. So. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go and have a shower. Go have a shower. I'm just gonna chill and watch a bit of TV and then have an early night. Yeah. It's been a bit of travelling, so trying to make sure we kind of get everything packed and making sure we've got everything. It's been a bit of a manic day, so. I mean, yeah, we were up like. We were up early. Like quarter to eight. Yeah. Loads to do this morning, and then obviously the the drive down, but. Hopefully you've enjoyed our caravan tour of this amazing caravan. Yeah. Amazing. Again, I just want to say thank you to Thank you to Gary, Gary because, yeah, th this is um, amazing. Absolutely amazing. You got us a bargain. Um, but, yeah, so if you enjoyed it, then please give it the thumbs up. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet or you're new, then subscribe. Make sure you, do. Make sure you subscribe. Um, and feel free to comment. 
comment yeah let us know what you thought of the caravan um, and have you ever stayed here at Uban Bashley? This is our first time and we love it, you know. The, the lovely little site, very rural, rural, rural. Um, love the little dog exercise park, that is amazing. Yeah, cool. They they love that and I, I think they're, that will, um, and then they know they can get treats. So I think they'll enjoy that when we go there again. But yeah, so that's it. We're going to close yeah. off now. Um, you're going to have to tune in next time to see what else we get up to. There'll be more vlogs coming from our stay here in Hoburn. Um, but for now, that's pretty much it. So it's adios for me. Cheerio. Bye. Bye.